The Yearling is a Pulitzer Prize-winning novel by Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings. Set in rural Florida in the late 1800s, it follows the story of young Jody Baxter and his family as they struggle to survive in the harsh wilderness. The novel explores themes of coming of age, family, loss, and the cycle of life and death. Jody, a young boy, longs for a pet to call his own, and he finds one in the form of a fawn he names Flag. Despite his mother's objections, Jody becomes deeply attached to the fawn, and their bond becomes a central theme of the novel. However, as Flag grows, he becomes a liability to the family's survival, and Jody must make a difficult decision. Rawlings' writing vividly captures the landscape and wildlife of Florida, and her characters are fully realized and complex. The Yearling has become a beloved classic of American literature and has been adapted into multiple films and stage productions. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless themes and powerful storytelling. Published in 1939, The Grapes of Wrath is a Pulitzer Prize-winning novel by American author John Steinbeck. It tells the story of the Jode family, poor tenant farmers from Oklahoma who are forced to migrate west to California during the Great Depression era in search of work and a better life. The novel is a powerful depiction of the economic and social injustices faced by migrant workers in California during the 1930s. Steinbeck's vivid and evocative descriptions of the Jode family's hardships and struggles on the road, as well as their treatment by wealthy landowners and the government, make for a harrowing and emotionally charged read. The novel was highly controversial upon its release, with some critics accusing Steinbeck of being a communist sympathizer and others arguing that his portrayal of migrant workers was overly sentimental. However, it has since become a classic of American literature, revered for its social commentary, vivid characters, and powerful storytelling. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway is a novel set during the Spanish Civil War. The story follows Robert Jordan, an American explosives expert who is assigned to blow up a bridge behind enemy lines. Along the way, he falls in love with a young Spanish woman named Maria and becomes embroiled in the conflict between the Republican forces and the Nationalist forces led by General Franco. The novel is known for its vivid portrayal of war and its effects on those involved. Hemingway's sparse, direct writing style lends itself well to the harshness and brutality of the war and he does not shy away from depicting the horrors of violence and death. At the same time, the novel explores themes of love, loyalty, and sacrifice, as Jordan must weigh his personal desires against his duty to the cause. For Whom the Bell Tolls was well received upon its publication in 1940 and has since become a classic of American literature. Hemingway's portrayal of the Spanish Civil War has been praised for its accuracy and attention to detail, and the novel remains a powerful meditation on the human cost of war. Ellen Glasgow's novel In This Our Life was published in 1941 and won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction in 1942. The novel tells the story of the Timberlake family, a prominent Virginia family with a history of pride and stubbornness. The main character, Stanley Timberlake, is a selfish and manipulative woman who causes chaos and tragedy wherever she goes. The novel is set in the early 20th century and explores themes of race, gender, and morality. The racism of the white characters is shown through their treatment of the black characters, who are depicted as subservient and powerless. The novel also examines the limitations placed on women during the time period and the consequences of breaking free from societal expectations. Glasgow's writing style is vivid and descriptive, painting a vivid picture of the setting and characters. The dialogue is realistic and adds depth to the characters' personalities. The novel is a commentary on society and the human condition, and its themes are still relevant today. Dragon's Teeth is a historical novel by Upton Sinclair, published in 1942. It is the third book in his Lanny Bud series, which follows the life of an American art dealer and socialite during the turbulent years of the 20th century. The novel takes place in Germany in the years leading up to World War II and follows Lanny as he witnesses the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. The book received critical acclaim upon its release and won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction in 1943. 
Sinclair's vivid portrayal of the German political and social climate of the time, as well as his detailed characterization of Lanny Bud, have been praised for their realism and depth. Dragon's Teeth is a powerful exploration of the dangers of totalitarianism and the importance of standing up against oppression and fascism. Through Lanny Budd's experiences, Sinclair shows the reader the horrifying consequences of allowing extremist ideologies to gain power and the importance of resisting authoritarianism at all costs. Journey in the Dark is a novel by Martin Flavin that explores themes of alienation and the search for identity in the modern world. The novel tells the story of Tom O'Neill, a young man struggling to find his place in the world after returning from the war. He becomes involved with a group of bohemian artists and writers, including the enigmatic Mary Fitzgerald, who helps him to discover his own artistic talents. As Tom becomes more deeply involved with Mary and her circle of friends, he begins to question his own identity and sense of purpose. He struggles to reconcile his desire for creative expression with the demands of society and the expectations of his family. Ultimately, Tom must make a choice between conformity and individuality, between the safety of the familiar and the risks of the unknown. A Bell for Adano is a novel by John Hersey, first published in 1944. The story is set in the small Italian town of Adano, which has just been liberated from the Nazis by the American army. The main character is Major Victor Giappolo, an American officer tasked with restoring order to the town and ensuring that the locals receive the aid they need. Giappolo encounters a variety of challenges as he tries to navigate the local politics and deal with the aftermath of the war. He works to rebuild the town's infrastructure, help the residents get back on their feet, and track down a missing bell that was stolen by the Germans. Along the way, he becomes deeply involved with the people of Adano and gains a greater appreciation for their culture and way of life. A Bell for Adano is a moving and insightful novel that explores the impact of war on individuals and communities. Hersey's prose is spare and powerful, conveying a sense of the harsh realities faced by both the soldiers and the civilians caught up in the conflict. The novel won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1945 and has been widely praised for its sensitivity and depth. All the King's Men is a novel by Robert Penn Warren, published in 1946. It is a fictional account of the rise and fall of a politician named Willie Stark, who is based on the real-life Louisiana Governor Huey Long. The novel is set in the 1930s and follows the story of Jack Burden, a former journalist who becomes Stark's right-hand man. The novel explores themes of power, corruption, and morality as well as the complex relationships between individuals and their communities. It is widely regarded as one of the greatest American novels of the 20th century and won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction in 1947. Warren's writing style is notable for its use of vivid imagery and symbolic language. He often employs metaphors and allegories to explore complex ideas and emotions. The novel also features a non-linear narrative structure with frequent flashbacks and shifts in perspective. Tales of the South Pacific is a collection of interconnected stories by James A. Michener, published in 1947. It is set during World War II and focuses on the experiences of American servicemen in the South Pacific. The book centers around a variety of characters, including soldiers, nurses, and islanders. It deals with themes such as love, war, and racial tensions. Michener's vivid descriptions of the islands and their inhabitants are a highlight of the book, and he manages to capture the beauty and complexity of the region. One of the most well-known stories in the collection is Bali Hai, which was later adapted into the musical South Pacific. The story follows a group of Navy men who become fascinated with the mysterious island of Bali Hai, where they believe they will find love and adventure. Tales of the South Pacific won the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1948, and helped to establish Michener as one of the preeminent writers of his time. The book was later adapted into a successful Broadway musical and a film adaptation, both titled South Pacific. The Naked and the Dead is a 1948 novel by Norman Mailer that follows the experiences of a group of soldiers during World War II. 
The novel is considered one of the most significant works of American literature about the war and explores the physical and psychological traumas that soldiers endured. The novel's title comes from a line in the ancient Greek poem The Iliad, which describes the bodies of dead soldiers stripped of their armor. Mailer uses this image to explore the vulnerability and fragility of the human body in the face of war. The novel is notable for its realistic portrayal of combat, its frank depiction of sex and violence, and its use of multiple perspectives to tell the story. The characters are complex and flawed, reflecting the realities of war and the challenges of maintaining a sense of humanity in the midst of violence and chaos.